you know, Prince was a, a great guy, man. I, I, I uh, as aloof as he might've been, um, you know, we, we had good conversations. They were never long. I feel you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I forgot you, you brought John Blackwell to him. Yeah, yeah, I certainly the great did. John, the late, great John Blackwell. Absolutely. Yeah, a couple of people before him. Cameo was the uh, farm team for, for Prince. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, indeed. Uh, <laughs> one question I one question I have for you, Larry, uh, was regarding your early days in drumming. You were playing on. You had a chance to work with Black Ivory, and uh, wanted to know what if you remember what songs you played on, and uh, if you remember anything about working with Leroy Burgess. He's another kind of hero of ours. Yeah, I like Leroy. Uh, Leo Leroy lived in the same project that I, that I uh, lived in there, and um, Leroy was cool. Um, I worked with uh, Patrick Adams mainly. Patrick was ah yeah. the, uh, the late Patrick Adams. Just passed. Just, yeah, just passed. And I played uh, you and I have an understanding, I believe. That's and you and you and I. Really? Yes. Woo! What? You know? <laughs> That's the one. <laughs> Yo. Also, Wait, uh, how did you know that, Fonte? Because I didn't even know that. Yeah, it was. You know, I have informants. But, uh, <laughs> but no, nah, man, wow, he's on you and I. Okay, that's dope. That's super dope. Yes, uh huh. And uh, it was, uh, and Patrick was a phenomenal guy, man. Um, he played like six or seven instruments, and uh, we, we would start off on the keyboard and the drums. That's how it started. Um, okay. Uh, I, and I played, goodness, I must have recorded four, four different tracks, mm -hmm. two, of, two of which, um, you know, Don't Turn Around and, and That You and I. Mm. Whoa. Crazy, I didn't know you played uh -huh. on You and I. Mm -hmm. Damn. Okay. That's a classic. Your first band, East Coast, with Gwen Guthrie. Yes. Talk yeah. about how did that come together? Well, uh, we played at the Cheetah a great deal. Uh, she was with a group called the Matchmakers, I believe. They were from um, East Orange. Um, and uh, we would see each other a lot. Uh, so um, when I was about to form the first um, unit that turned into Cameo, I asked if she was interested in um, uh, joining a band playing all originals. And of course, that was the dream back then. Mm -hmm. And um, and East Coast, we played uh, in Long Island a great deal. And uh, whenever we could get, <laughs> could get work, uh, we played in Quebec, a place called uh, Trois Rivières, which was uh, about an hour from Montreal. Um, we were up there for a while. That was uh, that was the closest thing to a res residency that I can remember. Uh, but Gwen was a very talented. You know how talented she is. Uh, oh yeah, she was phenomenal, man. Um, I I I loved working with Gwen, um, and her and and uh, our trombone player connected, uh, and they wrote. As a matter of fact, they met um, Benny Ashburn. The um, Commodore's the, manager. Yes, he was living in Lenox Terrace at the time. We had a res residency at Small's Paradise. Um, oh, we Small's were, in Harlem. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. I believe I believe that Robert De Niro now owns that club and has kept it running. Oh, really? I yeah, yeah, know. yeah. Mm. He uh, he hooked it up and kind of refurbished it. Oh, okay. Yeah. I know of a place in Philadelphia that he did the same same thing, but I believe that was more of an after hour place. Hood spot. <laughs> yeah. Mittens, yeah. Yeah. Mittens, yeah. 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 He's uh yeah. I you know, the we have weird story about Robert and I staying at uh at uh that that hotel in Hollywood. Um I would not forget the sunset. Yes, yeah, it's, it's off the of sunset. Yeah, where um, where Belushi was found. Um, that oh, was, uh, the damn! I used to stay there. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, across on from, sunset. Uh, yeah, 
Tulsa, um, Tulsa. Uh -huh. And uh, Rick and I were staying there. Well, we were there for other reasons, but that's how I met Eddie, as a matter of fact. Uh, Rick introduced me to him, and then I, uh, I produced his uh, second album, I believe. Um, oh, the, the one after, uh, how could it be? Um, how could it be? Uh, the one after, would well, put your mouth on me. Uh, right, yeah, the one with that song on it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, oh, Chateau Marmont was the was the hotel. Marmont, that's right. Yeah. Uh, and so, you know, Rick had to get the room that they found John Belushi in. Um, you know what? Everyone is obsessed with that bungalow. Everyone's obsessed with it. Most def lived a whole year in in Hollywood in bungalow. Well, that's, that's where De Niro and I met. Uh, we would always meet in the garage, um, coming and going, <laughs> deer hunter at the time. And uh, oh, I recognized him, but I wasn't, I, you know, I wasn't, it wasn't that kind of thing. We, we were talking about typical things. Um, yeah, I know, he, he honorary brother. Man, he's, he's, <laughs> a, he's, a, he's a real guy. I um, already know. <laughs> <laughs> I already know. Yeah. I already know.